Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Phantom Mayonnaise with Gary. I know, it's what you wanted, it's not what you needed. Uh, today, we are embarking upon my journey through music. Uh, it's, as Spencer would say, deep dives. And so, you know, I, Spencer was the one who came up with this idea, and I love it, um, because music is such a big aspect of both of our guys, or both of our lives. Um, both musicians, we've listened to music for as long as we've had years, and, you know, it, it's, it's a journey. Music, no matter what you listen to, it's, it's just a wonderful crusade upon where you're going. It's always changing. You know, it, it's like the quote, you never step in the same river twice, you know, because the water that you are in is gone now, you're stepping in new water. And my first video, this one, is not going to be a specific artist. Uh, it's really going to be just my introduction to music. And so it's my earliest memories of music is my dad's homemade speakers back in the nineties. Uh, although I think he made them in the eighties because they're, they're old. Um, but he, I had mixed CDs until let's see, I think I got my, my new car at 22 or 23. So I had mixed CDs for as long as I can remember. And that was my first introduction to music, was my dad's mixed CDs, burning CDs, that we made at home. And some of those CDs, uh, just to me, even I still hear those music, those songs, and I still know all the words, they just take me back. And, you know, what's on there is uh, Killing Me Softly. What's, uh, we have Cowboy, Kid Rock, we have Seven Nation Army, White Stripes, we have um, Son of a Preacher Man, we have Spill the Wine by War, um, just such kind of a weird mix of songs. We have tons of Parliament Funkadelic, which I'm gonna do a video on them. Uh, they are huge into who I am. Um, and I'm making this, I think this video, two or three days after uh, George Clinton's 80th birthday. Happy birthday, George. Um, and I mean, there's just so much weird stuff on, on these CDs, but I loved them. It was just a roller coaster of what song you're going to get next. And uh, the biggest artist, though, for me when I was younger um, was Lenny Kravitz. I loved Are You Gonna Go My Way. That song was my favorite song of all time. Uh, I still love it. I know how to play it on guitar. I still love Lenny Kravitz. I would go and see him in a heartbeat. Um, I, I love Lenny. Lenny, you rock. Um, also, totally random, on those CDs is Sir Mix A Lot Baby Got Back. And to this day, I still know every word to that song. I remember being in second grade, my dad is taking me to um, swim lessons in his 1973 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And I knew every word and my dad is just looking at me like, should I be a proud dad or should I maybe wonder about my parenting? And sorry, dad, love that song. I'm an ass man. I don't know if it's because of that song or not, but who doesn't love that song? And um, I think what's important to me about these songs though, and just the mesh of them, how they came in from everywhere, every genre, every time, frame, reference, you know, decade, uh, is just music is good regardless of where it's coming from. You know, every genre, every time, you know, period of music has something that you can get behind, something that you can enjoy. And to this day, my spectrum of music genres that I listen to is massive. And so much of that has to go back to growing up and all of a sudden I'm rapping along to Cowboy Kid Rock and then I'm singing Son of a Preacher Man and then I'm rapping about Big Butts and then I'm singing uh, oh, Jungle Boogie. I'm singing Brick House, you know, um, just all over the place. And I love that, uh, you know, music is is great no matter, no matter what. Um, there's just music for everybody out there and it was just such a great introduction, I think, that you can enjoy more than one genre, more than one artist, more than one 
like I said, time period. Uh, and another thing that these songs also really influenced me with is, you, you know, every, except for uh, Sir Mix a lot, they're all played by uh, bands. They're all musicians and they're incredible. And I, when I was younger, I think I was third grade, I started a band, it was Recorders. Uh, funny story, our band teacher at the time was, if you leveled up, it was like a karate belt, and I was a white belt the entire year, he hated me. The next year, I started playing saxophone, much better. Uh, and so, you know, I think that got me on, I wanna play an instrument, I wanna get on this. I remember playing air guitar along with Lenny Kravitz when I was younger. And now I'm sitting with them on both sides. Yes, I don't have a cool studio like Spencer does. But say hello to my uh, other wives. Don't tell my fiance that. She probably knows, it's okay. Um, but yeah, that was huge. And I think lastly, some of these songs are just so funny. Um, I, some of them are just such quirky songs. You know, songs don't have to always have this deeper meaning. They don't have to be a love song. They don't have to be a sad song. They don't have to be about something. They can just be a fun song. And that's huge. You know, um, so many people, when you go down to write a song, uh, is just, what are the two easiest things to sing about? The two easiest things to write about? Some of the two easiest emotions to feel and really feel deep, deep about is sadness, love. And so, you know, I had these just weird kind of off the wall songs as a kid to listen to and, you know, like, didn't matter. It was just fun. Girls Like Cars and Money. I remember having that on there. Some Good Charlotte. We had some uh, uh, Sugar Ray on there. Just fun songs about just having a good time. Um, huge, you know, and just life is too short to be, you know, always thinking about love, always thinking about being sad. You know, we have fun songs to laugh, you know? You can look at life as either a tragedy or a comedy, not to get all joker on you, but, you know, why not laugh? You gotta be able to laugh. And, um, yeah, that was huge for me. And so, um, those are just, you know, kind of my introduction to music. It was all over the place. It wasn't centered on an artist. There wasn't an artist that I listened to and I was like, I gripped onto them and I said, I need to listen to more of these guys. It was just, music's fun, you know? When my dad was away, my mom was playing the freaking Carpenters. Um, and, you know, I was like, oh yeah, Karen Carpenter's great. And, you know, my dad was like, that, that is not my son. My son knows big butts, not the Carpenters. Um, but yeah, that was my introduction to music. You know, my deep dive into my beginnings of my journey, you know, because I, I, it is a journey. Um, whether or not it's about who I am or how I'm playing, uh, my instruments. Um, it was just, I still look back on those songs and think of burn CDs as just such a fun childhood thing. Like I said, I still burn them up until my pretty late, early 20s. And um, yeah, just fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what got you into music. What got you, you know, was it a specific artist? How were you introduced to them? Um, I'd like to know that, you know, let me know what, uh, what you liked, what you liked. And uh, if music has been a journey for you as well, um, I, I think for everybody it has whether or not they maybe even know it. So um, thanks for watching guys. Have a good Mayo day.